Let me tell you my story. It's back when I'm 16 years old. At the end of high school, I've got those big exams coming up. And tomorrow it's gonna to be the computer class exam. So I'm studying, I've gotta open this like textbook and you know, my brain's not really working, I'm tired, but I really need to study because I haven't really done much. And my family start arguing. My mom's in my brother's room shouting at him because he's apparently like, you know, going on a date with some girl or something and he's not allowed to. Or then my dad's shouting, then my brother's getting a shouting and everything, everyone's getting angry. And I'm like actually getting kind of pissed off because I'm trying to do the work that they've been telling me to do all this time. And still they're making it harder for me. They've shouted at me. They've beat me when I haven't done this work and when I've had poor grades and they know that I've got this exam tomorrow and they just, I'm getting pissed off. And I'm actually getting quite like upset as well because it almost feels hopeless to be able to study at home. And so it's basically, it's too late. I need to go to just sleep and I'll just, you know, try and wake up early and do some tomorrow. And as I'm climbing into bed, I'm just thinking like, I wish it was easier to not procrastinate. I wish I had the kind of environment and family and also mindset that would mean that I could do all of this work and it would feel effortless. But I can't blame anyone else. As a young man, I have to understand that I have to take responsibility for everything. And that includes the environment that I put myself in. You know, I'm getting like, I'm getting a little bit upset that tomorrow is the exam day. And all of this time, I could have just been going to the library every day. Literally every single day after school, I could have just went to the library for one hour and I would have actually studied so much more than, than getting upset that I can't study at home. I could have taken control of the situation instead of blaming others. I could have just taken responsibility, studied at the library, and tomorrow I would get a better grade. And so I feel awful knowing that I could have changed something, but I didn't. The lesson of this story is that as men, we should try and take responsibility for as much as possible in our lives. So if you do have like an environment, which I had when I was growing up and I was going through high school and you know, your parents are always yelling or maybe your home environment isn't like this sort of safe, focused place for you to study. You have to take responsibility for that and, and really think practically what you could do differently. Because it's so easy to act like really feminine and you know, to blame others and to be annoyed at the world. But the, the masculine version inside of you will sit down and just think, okay, well, what can I actually practically do about it? Not to blame others. What could I do? Well, I could go to the library. I could go study there. I could go to my friend's place and study there. You know, a major reason why you procrastinate, which might make you feel a little bit insecure, is actually because of low testosterone. There's a scientist who's blowing up on YouTube right now. His name is Dr. Andrew Huberman. And he said the number one characteristic of testosterone is that it makes effort feel good. It makes hard work work feel good. If I ask you right now and, and you didn't lie, does hard work feel good? I think most young guys would have to say, no, actually, I don't think so. And low testosterone is a reason for that. This certainly is like a war on masculinity, a war on male health, male hormones. And that's unfortunately making so many young guys like demotivated and, and procrastinating and lazy, which is a huge problem because it is us young guys, the next generation who are really going to shape up the world and become like the next generation of workers who are developing in software and technology. And we need as many of us young guys to really be like productive and mentally healthy, but it's so hard to do that when you've got low testosterone. If you think that testosterone is the problem, then I've got a couple of videos on testosterone. So if you just want to search up on YouTube, Hamza testosterone, you'll probably find a couple and you can try and increase your levels naturally. There's a quote from the Bible that I want to read you. The sluggard craves and gets nothing, but the desires of the vigilance are fully satisfied. This means that the people who are quite lazy and they they procrastinate. Their wishes and their prayers don't often come true. But the guy who's working really hard in his life, he gets what he wants. You've probably heard of like the law of attraction before, of manifestation and all these things. You know, girls always talk about this stuff, but they do it in like this cringe, lazy way where they just like sit there and try and get stuff into their lives. What I've seen is like the highest level entrepreneurs that I've met, they all all are into like law of attraction, manifestation, but they back that up with a lot of action. They make sure that they don't procrastinate and they get the work done. That's how your prayers come true. If you pray right now for good grades or to make money in your business, it's not that you pray and then hopefully it just comes true. It's that you pray and then you utilize that sort of energy inside of you to make it come true. And there's a quote from the Quran, which is very similar. Indeed, Allah will not change the condition of a person until they change what is within themselves. No one gets this right, but I want you to try and answer this question right now. What could it be that's actually causing this procrastination that if we fixed one thing, you'd stop procrastinating? What could it be? Family, environment, too much pressure, not enough time. You know, the real reason why you procrastinate is your mental health. It's your mental health that is kind of like the constraint on your life. It's very, very difficult to want to sit down and get the work done when you're not feeling mentally healthy. 
when you're feeling lonely and you haven't really connected with other people and you've got symptoms of anxiety and you're constantly worrying and you've got symptoms of depression where you always feel down, it's so difficult to then go and procrastinate. You know, I've said this a few times and I think this is some of my best advice, so please take this seriously. You know, all of the problems that you have in life right now, like trying to quit porn, trying to quit video games, feeling like a loser, eating junk food, slacking on self-improvement and not being super consistent, you know, all of these things, these problems are not actually problems. They're simple symptoms of the real problem, which is mental health. You see, no one makes good progress in life when they just focus on, for example, quitting porn or trying to like stop procrastinating and be more productive. No one makes good progress. You know this, right? You've seen the amount of people who have struggled getting onto NoFap or trying to eat clean. Literally almost everyone fails this goal because they're focused on the wrong thing. You, by focusing on stopping procrastination, you're actually focused on the wrong thing. These are just symptoms of the real problem. The real problem is your mental health. If you improve your mental health, all of these symptoms start going away. When you become mentally healthy, you stop fapping. It stops becoming a problem. When you become mentally healthy, you stop procrastinating. You actually feel like you genuinely feel like doing the work. You actually want to do the work. When you improve your mental health, you improve your diet. You actually love yourself enough to go and eat cleaner. It all starts from your mental health first. And as guys, we don't take this as seriously as we should do. So how exactly can you improve your mental health? Well, I did a two hour long course on how to improve mental health and I made it for free. You can watch it on YouTube. I'll have it pop up as some kind of card right now. That's where I'd like to send you to. You focus on improving your mental health and I promise you the rest of your life improves alongside it. Click and watch that mental health full guide right now. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.